Did you know your body holds about 60,000 miles of blood vessels? They're a part of your circulatory system, along with your heart and other muscles. When your circulation is poor, the blood flow is slowed or blocked, leading to some illnesses. Hi people, welcome to the Healthy Boost channel. We make sure that you get a healthy boost every single day. In today's video, we're going to be discovering the symptoms, causes, and ways to prevent having poor blood circulation. Watch until the end of the video to learn more things you don't know. Number 1. Peripheral Artery Disease Peripheral Artery Disease, or PAD, is a common circulatory problem in which narrowed arteries reduce blood flow to your limbs. When you have peripheral artery disease, PAD, the blood flow to your legs or arms is insufficient to keep up with demand. This may result in symptoms such as leg pain while walking. PAD is most common in adults over the age of about 50, but it can occur in younger people as well. People who smoke are more likely to develop PAD early in life. Alarming, right? We're only just on number one, and without further ado, we're going to take a look at number two. But before all of that, please don't forget to leave a like and make sure that you subscribe so you can see more healthy videos like this. Number two, blood clots. Blood clots either partially or completely obstruct blood flow. They can form almost anywhere in your body, but blood clots in your arms or legs can cause circulation problems. Blood clots can form for a variety of reasons and are very dangerous. If a blood clot in your leg ruptures, it can travel to other parts of your body, such as your heart or lungs. It may also result in a stroke. When this occurs, the consequences can be severe, if not fatal. A blood clot can be successfully treated if it's discovered before it causes a larger problem. Number 3. Varicose Veins Varicose veins are enlarged veins that develop as a result of valve failure. The veins look gnarled and engorged, and they are most commonly found on the back of the legs. Because damaged veins cannot move blood as efficiently as other veins, poor circulation may develop. Varicose veins can cause blood clots, though this is uncommon. Your genes play a significant role in determining whether or not you're going to develop varicose veins. Your risk is increased if a family member has varicose veins. Women, as well as those who are overweight or obese, are more likely to develop them. Number 4. Diabetes Diabetes can cause poor blood circulation in a variety of ways. In many cases, high glucose levels are to blame. High glucose levels in your blood can damage the lining of your small blood vessels over time, impeding circulation. Cramping in your legs as well as pain in your calves, thighs, or buttocks are examples of this. Diabetes patients may have difficulty detecting signs of poor circulation. It can lead to heart and blood vessel issues. Diabetics are more likely to develop atherosclerosis, high blood pressure, and heart disease. We're now on half of our list, and there's still much more to learn. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like what you're seeing. Number 5. Obesity Obesity is most commonly associated with hypertension, diabetes, and heart disease, but it can also result in poor circulation, which can lead to blood clots. Carrying extra pounds places a strain on your body. If you're overweight, sitting or standing for long periods of time can cause circulation problems. Remember that an improved diet is the first step towards better health. Number 6. Raynaud's Disease People who have cold hands and feet on a regular basis may have Raynaud's disease. The small arteries in your hands and toes narrow as a result of this disease. Because narrowed arteries are less capable of moving blood through your body, you may develop symptoms of poor circulation. Raynaud's disease symptoms commonly appear when you are exposed to cold temperatures or are experiencing unusual feelings. Raynaud's disease treatment is determined by the severity of the condition and whether you have any other medical conditions. Raynaud's disease isn't usually disabling, but it can have an impact on your quality of life. Number 7. Inactive Lifestyle Inactivity weakens your muscles, weakens your bones, weakens your immune system, and reduces blood circulation because healthy blood flow is dependent on movement. Poor circulation, in turn, can lead to more serious issues such as high blood pressure and cholesterol. 
it is critical to make lifestyle changes in order to reduce your risk of having a heart attack or stroke. Exercising and leading a healthy lifestyle will significantly improve your situation. Knowing the causes of having a poor blood circulation will prevent you from having serious illnesses and also lead you to a good and healthy lifestyle. Now that you know, what is most likely the cause of poor blood circulation? Are you convinced to avoid these problems? Well, if you are, let us know in the comments below. And to stay up to date with our latest Healthy Boost videos, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss them. Are you curious about what foods will make you poop? Or are you more interested in knowing what will happen if you eat watermelon daily? Choose your favorite and give yourself an extra Healthy Boost today.